Today I'd like to run you through Axiom's floor standing or tower speaker lineup. Now, you can't see all of it because I can't get the camera far enough back, but we're going to drop in a number of images while I describe the different models so you'll have a good look at the different models, the driver complements, etc. So, as their name suggests, floor sta standing speakers or tower speakers stand or sit directly on the floor. Unlike a bookshelf speaker, which can be placed in a bookshelf or, you know, on a stand if you, if you prefer. Now, currently, we have three core floor standing models, the M60, the M80, and the M100. All three of those floor standing speakers are true three-way systems, meaning that they have dedicated woofer, mid-range or mid-ranges, and tweeter or tweeters. And, you know, many people will ask, well, which one is better sounding amongst the three? And, you know, we really don't, we don't tend to make bad sounding loudspeakers. We have a philosophy based on the NRC research for building and designing neutral sounding loudspeakers. So the character of all of our speaker models, including our floor standing models, is very similar. What you get when you go up in price or up in the model lineup is you tend to get a speaker that's going to play louder, have a little bit better bass extension, and you know be suitable for larger and larger rooms. But the M60, which is our smallest floor stander, it's no slouch in the performance department. In many applications in, let's say, a small room, it's going to perform better than the M100, which might overpower the room in terms of bass. So, you know, it's not a compromise in terms of speaker quality, uh, you know, the build quality or the sound quality. It's just the trade-offs in the bigger cabinet, more woofers will give you more bass and more output capability. So let's quickly run through those three core models. The M60 has two six and a half inch woofers, a single five and a quarter inch dedicated mid-range, and a one inch titanium dome tweeter. Moving up to the M80, we now have two six and a half inch woofers with two five and a quarter inch dedicated mid-ranges and two one inch titanium dome tweeters. Now, just to pause for a second, why two tweeters and two mid-ranges? Well, really, it's all about dynamics and power handling. By sharing the work between two tweeters and two mids rather than a single one like you'll find uh, in the M60, the speaker not only can play louder, it can handle dynamics better. And when the speaker is just, you know, loafing along at background music levels or at, at even fairly decent movie or music levels, the distortion of the mid and the tweeter sections is cut in half, again, because it's shared. That makes a huge difference in terms of clarity and detail. So I always recommend if you have the space and the budget, the M80 is the nice, perfect middle ground floor standing model. Moving up to the M100, we now have triple six and a half inch woofers, and these are high power woofers as standard, meaning that they have bigger motor and magnet systems, so they can dissipate more heat, and they have a larger voice coil and more travel capability. It doesn't mean that they sound better than the standard six and a half inch woofers. It just means that they have more capability to play at higher levels because there's more excursion and they're designed to handle more heat. And just like the M80, the M100 has dual five and a quarter inch dedicated mid ranges and dual one inch titanium dome tweeters. Now about this high power woofer thing, you can order the M60 and the M80 in a high power version should you want those higher power woofers. So let's say you have a smallish room where the M60 would be perfect in terms of overall output and performance, but you really like to crank up the, you know, let's say the electronic music or you love lots of impact in your movies. You might want to go for the high power option 
where you're going to handle higher base levels with lower distortion and no risk of, uh, you know, of overheating anything. So that's always a good option if you want, you know, if you, your, your budget or the form factor of the smaller tower models is, is what you need, but you want that capability of the high power woofers, it's available. So those are the three core models. Now I'm going to quickly go over the, you know, side series. I shouldn't say side series. It sounds like I'm, you know, I'm saying it will push it to the side and it's not important. There is a complementary three floor standing speaker lineup called the LFR series for linear field radiator. And these are our omnidirectional models. Those three models are the LFR 660, the LFR 880, and the LFR 1100. And looking from the front, they are absolutely identical to you know, their M60, M80, and uh, M100 counterparts. Exactly the same driver complement on the front, no difference whatsoever. The distinguishing factor with the LFR series is they're omnidirectional, which means there's drivers on the back. So whatever mid and tweeter complement is on the front of a, you know, an M60, M80, or M100 is duplicated on the back of the speaker. Now, why do we do this? Well, it's to achieve this omnidirectional radiation pattern that's radiating sound all the way around the cabinet. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, basically, we have a formula for defining what the output coming out of the back of the speaker should be so that it matches perfectly with what comes out of the front of the speaker. And what it does is through the reflected information, because those drive units on the back, that sound's going to bounce off of a back wall, off the side wall, et cetera. These models give you incredible soundstage, which means the size of a performance or a movie, it's just much bigger than our conventional M60, M80, or M100 speakers. It makes a massive difference in stereo. I recommend to people, I mean, if you can, if you can afford it and you can deal with the requirement, which I'll go into in one minute, uh, and you listen predominantly, it's, or it's a stereo only system, the LFR models are the absolute best. It's the pinnacle of performance in our lineup. Now, that one, one thing I wanted to mention is the requirement is to get the proportion of front and back in the LFR series controlled perfectly, we need to use a separate digital signal processor. It's a, it's a box in a, in a 2U chassis, two rack unit height, um, which handles all of the complex um, equalization, driver parameters, et cetera, that we need to vary to get the front and the back playing together the way we want to get this beautiful immersive sound field and not sacrifice detail imaging and neutrality. What the DSP requires and the speaker requires though is also instead of a conventional floor standing speaker like our M6080 or, or 100, which requires you know, one amplifier channel per speaker, the LFR series need two channels per speaker. So you need a four channel amp or two two channel amplifiers um, to run a pair of any of the LFR models. So, you know, there's one more model which was recently introduced, the LFR 1100 Active. Now this is the absolute ultimate because it now breaks down a separate digital signal processor that controls each section of drive units in the speaker. Now, why that's important, the same control in the other LFR models that we have between the front and the back, we now have that control for every driver section on the speaker. And in an LFR 1100 Active, there's five sections. 
the three woofers on the front, two mids on the front, two tweeters on the front, and then the two tweeters on the back and the two mids on the back. Now, as you can imagine, that requires five amplifier channels for a speaker. It's, it's, you know, something that you have to be a real dedicated audio or home theater nut, but if you hear it, you'll be absolutely amazed. It's not a system for everybody. It's, it's complex and, you know, admittedly, it's fairly expensive, but it is right now the state of the art in terms of performance. And, you know, we're really, really proud of that, that model. So I hope that the, that gave you a quick run through our, of our lineup, which I said three core models. And in total, if we include all of the LFR models, there are seven models in the lineup. Again, you know, the quality of an M60 is as good as an LFR 1100. The performance is obviously going to be better in the 1100 because it's an omnidirectional model. But don't feel that, you know, you're shorting yourself if the M60 is the fit for your budget, your room, and, uh, and the amount of, you know, system complexity that you're, you're willing to live with. So I hope that, that that gives everybody a little bit of a rundown of where and, 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 and what the different models are. And again, feel free to contact us. You might be put in touch with me if you've got a you know, problem room or you just like suggestions. We're always here to answer your questions and help you get the best sound for your room and your budget. Thank you very much for watching.